There should be seven, eight points in it. Uh, Galway have missed a few chances. I'd say uh, Kilkenny can't believe they're only four points behind. And really, Galway, if they're going to win this, they need to make the most of this dominant period because you expect Kilkenny will come back into it. Here's Richie Hogan. They need a big performance from him. He's got one. That's one back. Well, if he can get going, if Walter Welsh can get more into the match, they need Ger Aylward as well and Colin Fennelly to be contributing a little bit more. 12 points to 1-6, three points the margin. As you can see, five minutes to go to half-time. That one straight through the centre there towards Jonathan Glynn, breaks down, but only to Killian Buckley. Towards Aylward, Galway's defenders are sharp, they're incisive getting the stick in there, working with one another, not the greatest of clearances. Walter Welch, out of the match against Galway in the replay, when he got 1-3 here three years ago. Easy one for Calvin. Back out from the goalkeeper to David Burke. All the way down along the line as far as Cyril Donlan. Races across, missed the last one, scored an earlier one. And the referee again has decided he took too many steps, and the referee has been very insistent on implementing that rule to the letter of the law this afternoon. So far, James Owen's doing a good job. Yeah, I don't know. He didn't. He must have. He did, there was a little touch there from his hand into his hurl, and he took a few steps again. Unless the ref missed the touch, there wasn't a whole lot in that. Well, Murphy's going to take it. Kilkenny fans will feel they need the next score here. Can they get it? They certainly can. It could have gone anywhere. It was Jerry Elward in the end who popped it over the bar for his second point, but it could just as easily have dropped into the back of the Galway net. Yeah, nobody took control. You need to be cutting out that ball and let it slip inside and could have been in the goals. Good response by Kilkenny, I'd have to say, the last two scores. They looked you know, to be under serious pressure. They're back within two points again. Once again, Colin Calden fucking it out, playing in his 27th championship match today. Over towards right half forward, drops nicely with Jason Flynn, got there ahead of Gillian Buckley and knocked it over the bar. What a brilliant score. It's his fourth point of the match, the first come, the one to uh, come from play. And uh, he's having a very good first half. That's an unbelievable score. It's as good as you'd ever see. A brilliant first touch. He flicked it down to himself and into one move and put it over the bar. Super score. Some brilliant skills in evidence here in this All Ireland hurling final. TJ Reid Colin Fennelly now he's in the clear out comes John oh, that's uh, Johnny Cohen very deliberately taking him down it's a big call now for James Owen it's just as well he's not playing another code yeah and watch it here it comes across high around the neck very dangerous tackle and uh, be very lucky to escape a red card here Referee deciding to take a moment and have a chat with Johnny Ryan about that. So what's it to be? It's a card anyway, it's just a matter of which colour. Johnny Cohen, who was the Young Hurler of the Year in 2012, under pressure here. Moirishka playing advocate. Well, there's a little lecture, so it would indicate that maybe it's got to be a yellow card. And it is. He's lucky. It's uh, the first yellow card of the match. And that was a neck high challenge. Well, look, Jared, he's, he's lucky, but to me, it is a red card. I have to say, uh, very, very dangerous tackle, high into the head, neck area, uh, could have caused serious injury. I know it won't be popular for saying it, but I think it, I think that should have been a red. TJ Reid's going to take the resultant free from just outside the 20 metre line. He's got a 1 2. And uh, he's now got 1 3. Yeah, the Kilkenny crowd very subdued, hardly a whimper out of him when that went over the bar, and Brian Cody trying to drive him on now from the sideline. Should be pointed out, Michael, that around Croke Park today, just judging by the splash of colour, I would think Galway are outnumbering Kilkenny by about 3 to 1. Three to one and bear in mind, Kilkenny. Has only got a population of 80,000, so they've achieved way above their numbers over the years, overachieved in many respects. The greatest hurling county. David Burke getting it back here, taking it, David Collins. And there to look at this and to watch where it lands, and lands over the bar is the great man himself, Joe Canning, who's now got a seventh. 
further emphasizing Galway's very sturdy position in this match as we approach half time and they lead by 14 points to 1 8, 14 points to 11. Back come Kilkenny from the puck out here. Walter Welch, who hasn't really got into the game so far, hefty shoulder there on Andy Smith. Jerry Elwood and Smith shaping up to one another for a moment there. Pressure now is on Paul Murphy. Smith onto his midfield partner, David Burke, in as far as Joe Canning, who once again comes drifting out towards the middle of the park. Trying to leave a few gaps inside. Connor Whelan is playing this match as if he's an old veteran. And that's another beauty. No, it's not. The goal, the crowd again behind the goal, deceiving us somewhat. They were convinced it was gone over. Joe's convinced it was gone over. He wants Hawkeye to intervene. Well, we have Hawkeye. Why not use it? If you know, if Joe is that adamant, I think they should have a look at it. It's an All-Ireland final. That's why the technology was brought in. Just listen to the crowd here. They certainly feel that one was a point. One minute of additional time is going to be played. Here, Latanian went up one-handed here, didn't make it. Went off a Kilkenny band, so it's uh, going to be a Galway sideline ball. And Jerry, I think what we're seeing to great effect again from the Galway forwards today is the rotation. Joe is out centre forward now for the last six or seven minutes. He scored a point, could have had another one there. Uh, Cahill Mannion's gone in in the corner. Uh, Connor or Sir Donnell a full forward. You know, they're, they're making different moves, different changes, confusing the Kilkenny backs. They don't know who they're picking up. Well, Galway have certainly had the better of things in the opening half, no question or doubt about that. 14 scores to nine as the referee blows for half time. Anthony Cunningham geeing up his team. They've done a really good job in the opening 35 minutes of this match. Joe Canning got seven points. Terrific contribution. We've seen Jason Flynn hit long range points, get a lovely point from uh, play a little while ago. A goal by TJ Reid after 70 minutes, really important because it has kept Kilkenny motoring. They have work to do at half time here in the All Ireland Hurling final. It's Galway to lead by 14 points to Kilkenny.